Summary of Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson Dr. Livesey and Squire Trelawney, two people who know Jim Hawkins, the main character of Treasure Island, have asked him to write down his memories. First, he talks about the Admiral Benbow in that his family ran when he was a child. It was close to the English port of Bristol. One day, a scary-looking, strange man shows up. He only wants to be called Captain and tells Jim to keep an eye out for a man with only one leg. Most of the time, the captain is drunk on rum, and when a pirate named Black Dog comes to see him, he passes out from nerves. Afterward, he tells Jim that Black Dog was after something in his sea box. If he ever dies, Jim should open it, find what's inside, and follow the directions. Soon, Jim's dad gets sick and dies. The day after the funeral, Pew, a blind man, shows up and gives the captain the black spot, which makes him less powerful among the pirates. The captain is so shocked that he falls down dead. Jim and his mother decide to break into his sea chest and take what they're owed because he hasn't paid his rent in months, even though they're scared to be alone at the inn because many people are after the captain. But they were able to open the box. Jim's mother counts out some of the gold while Jim takes out a small oilcloth package. Hearing voices, they quickly leave the house and hide by the road. It sounds like a group of pirates are after what Jim has taken. In the evening, Jim finds the squire and doctor and asks them to help him open the oilcloth bag. Inside is a plan of an island with a treasure-filled spot marked on it. The squire and Dr. Livesey are thrilled so they decide to set sail for the island in search of the wealth. Jim will serve as the ship's cabin boy. The squire is supposed to hire a responsible and loyal crew in secret, but he can't keep quiet about why the ship is going on its trip. Still, he has faith in the crew, especially Long John Silver, the ship's cook. When Jim first hears that Silver only has one leg, he is suspicious. He is sure that Silver can't be involved with the other pirates after meeting the man because Silver looks clean-cut and is friendly. He likes Silver a lot more than Captain Smollett, who is strict and follows the rules. The squire is also unhappy with the captain. Still, once the ship called the Hispaniola starts its journey, not much goes wrong at first. The mate, Mr. Arrow, is useless at first, and he ends up drinking so much that he falls overboard. Jim likes being a part of the trip, and he especially likes how friendly Long John Silver is. Long John Silver often asks Jim into his bedroom to sit with him and his parrot, Captain Flint, which is named after a famous pirate. But one night, Jim overhears Silver and some of the other crew members talking about a plan to mutiny. Silver will lead some of the crew members, many of whom turn out to be pirates, in taking over the ship and stealing the wealth for themselves. Jim tells the squire, the doctor, and the captain about these plans as soon as he can. Soon, the ship gets to Treasure Island. The captain decides to let some of the pirates go to shore so that they have time to make a defense. Jim also sneaks off to the island and starts exploring. While there, he meets Ben Gunn, a former pirate who has been stuck there for three years. The crew members who are loyal to the captain are able to sneak off the Hispaniola and make it to an old log house, which they use as a fort. Meanwhile, the pirates have secured the ship, even though none of them can guide it well. Long John Silver goes to the log house and asks the captain to give up so that the pirates can get the wealth. The captain flatly refuses. Unfortunately, Silver quickly runs away in anger, and soon there is a fight. The captain's group kills more pirates than the other side, but they are still outnumbered. The doctor leaves to meet Ben Gunn, and Jim starts to get antsy. Even though he knows he's acting like a child, Jim still chooses to sneak off and look for the small white boat Gunn told him about. It is found, and he paddles out to the Hispaniola as soon as he sees its lights. The ship is now without a master and rocking back and forth finding a pirate named Israel Hands on board. He is hurt and killed his partner, O'Brien, while he was drunk. At first, Jim and Israel work together to get the ship back to shore, but the pirate soon starts making plans to kill Jim too. After a fight, Jim kills Hands with a gun and gets the ship to land. 
he then hides it in an out-of-the-way a part of the island and docks it there. When he gets back to the log house, the pirates have already taken it over and are holding him hostage. But after Jim says he's not scared, Long John Silver seems to like him more and protects him from the other pirates. It's also clear that the pirates don't like Silver as their boss anymore, and they're now talking about giving him the black spot. At the same time, the pirates keep letting the doctor stop by every once in a while to treat their wounds. Jim and Silver get a strange message from the doctor about the loot. They finally got the prize map from him, but Jim and Silver don't understand why. This doesn't bother the pirates, though, and they drag Jim across the island by a rope. Hearing a voice talk about Darby, one of Captain Flint's pirates, they're almost too scared to keep going until Silver screams that it's Ben Gunn. They finally get to the X on the map, but there's no prize there, just a hole. Silver quickly realized he was in danger, so he started to back away with Jim by his side. When one of the pirates, George Mary, tried to start a mutiny against Silver, Silver shot him and another pirate. Just as the doctor and Ben Gunn come out of the trees, the other pirates run off through the woods. As they walk back to where they hid, they tell Jim that Ben Gunn had found the wealth while he was on the island and had hidden it somewhere else. That's why the doctor gave the pirates the treasure map. Thanks to Jim's skill, the group can hide the Hispaniola while they load it. Then they leave the remaining pirates on land and sail away. The other people are still suspicious of Long John Silver, but Jim has a better opinion of him. No one is shocked when Silver escapes at the first port they stop at. The rest of the crew gets back to Bristol safely, and each person spends their share of the money in their own way. Jim says he will never go back to Treasure Island. About the author Stevenson was born on November 13, 1850, at 8, Howard Place in Edinburgh, Scotland. He went to Edinburgh University to study engineering, but a series of illnesses and general weakness kept him from becoming an engineer or going into law, which was his second choice. He instead started writing, first by making up articles and stories about his travels. Stevenson married Fanny Osborne in California in 1879. He had met her in France and they were both American. After they moved back to Scotland, Stevenson kept working as a writer. He started writing adventure stories for kids and wrote Treasure Island for his stepson. He died at the age of 44. Treasure Island, Kidnapped, and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde are his most well-known books. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.